Well, you really can't make this stuff up, but a South African pastor is claiming that his ritual of farting on his congregants helps bring both a spiritual and physical healing to them. And he elaborated on that. We're going to go into all the details of it. Off the top, guys, let me mention, I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. The link down below, it's going to be our backup. We were recently demonetized here on the channel. Lost all of our revenue. Could lose the YouTube channel at any point. And because we lost our revenue, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry. A couple of different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the link down below. You could do either a one-time or monthly donation. You could also sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. That link down below gets you access to all my bonus content. My podcast where I talk more about sensitive information as well as the links to the YouTube videos are being posted there as well because YouTube will not always alert you for when all the new content comes out. Patreon will do that. Just a great way to make sure you don't miss anything. I highly recommend it. Now, all that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about this pastor. Now, he's going by the name of Christ Penelope, okay? That's the name that he's going by here. Talk about blasphemous right there. And I highly doubt uh, that this uh, man's name is actually Christ. But he claims that in his services, he is the founder of also a sevenfold Holy Spirit ministries, that this is his ritual. His way of demonstrating God's power is by farting on members of the congregation. Yes, and he says that he lures them to sleep and then will either stand on top of them or sit on their face and pass gas on them. But then when they wake up, they completely are healed from whatever it was that they were suffering from spiritually, physically, whatever the ailment was, it is completely gone. And he even went so far as to say that it's very important that during the ritual that you make sure that you get the fart as close to the nostrils as possible. Well, of course, right? I mean, it has to have the full effect. So that way it can enter, God's power can then enter through the fart into that person's body to provide them the healing. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, this guy went viral. Photos were going around of him doing this, sitting on his congregation members, farting on them. I mean, this is the kind of insanity that's taking place in the world right now. And look, I can, you know, you, you take a look at these, these so-called pastors that are doing this. You expect crazy people like this to come out. The Bible told us that it was going to happen. But the fact that people buy into it and they believe it is even more upsetting to me than the individuals that are actually doing it themselves. When you can get people that are so naive to buy into something like this, I don't care if it's in South Africa. I don't care what country it's in. But it's 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 scary to see how easily deceived people are that they would actually allow a pastor to fart in their face because they think it's going to bring them healing. It's just, it, it's gotten to the point of just beyond insanity at this, at now at this point. I just, what else can we say? We're in the last days. The true Christ is coming back soon. Not this Christ Penelope character. No, no, no. Jesus Christ is coming. And well, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, guess what? Today is the day of salvation for you. This is part of our ministry. We are trying to get as many people to Christ as we can before the end is here. Now you start by recognizing that you yourself are a sinner. Look, we all are. But God sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. You repent of those sins. Now, important to know, repent means to turn from your sin. So not just to say you're sorry, but actually turning from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says, you believe that. You can you ask the Lord to heal you. He will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you ask Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. There is no greater decision you were ever going to make while you're here on this earth than the one you make to give your life to Christ. So I pray you make that decision today. Guys, let me know what you think about this pastor, the uh, so-called healing farting ritual he does. And don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are down below as well, along with link to my Rebel page. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. 
I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.